without a doubt, blogs are some of the most popular web pages out on the internet. And instead of having to go to all of those pages and read what's new, if there is a new post, instead you might want to subscribe to its RSS feed, and then from one source you can read all of your various blogs that you like without having to go to the web page to see if they have something new. Basically, it's a way that you can have the content of the web page come to you automatically as opposed to going out and seeing if it's available. It's really not that different than having a magazine or newspaper delivered to your house each day when there's new information published. Well, I'm over here at the Connection blog run by the CSCC library, and modern browsers are great. When you go to a web page that has a blog feed, you'll notice up here in my address bar, I've got the little feed icon, subscribe to this page. All I need to do is click the button and I'll be taken to this page. Now I am a Google Reader user and Google Reader is Google's RSS feed aggregator and since I've already logged into my account this comes up automatically and it's really easy for me to do. I can simply add to Google Reader and now the connection COCC library blog is available to me through my reader. Now let's say that you don't have this automatic setup. Well there's still a, a great manual way you can add a subscription. So now I'm over here at Paper Cuts which is the New York Times blog about books. And once again, of course, I do see my little RSS feed, and I could easily click that. But let me show you another technique. Most blogs or websites that have RSS feeds will make some indication. It's usually kind of, sometimes it's small, sometimes it's big. But basically, I'm scrolling down, and I'm looking for an RSS feed link. And it looks like here, it's right over here on the right, uh, in the right column. Feeds, Paper Cuts, RSS. And if I click this, it'll basically take me to the same page as clicking on the icon in the address bar would have. Now let's assume I'm not at Google Reader and I don't use that in particular, or I use something else. No matter what, the address for the feed is provided. So I can right click and I can copy this link location. And then with my feeder, and it doesn't matter if it's Google Reader, Yahoo has a really nice reader, or the many dozens of others that are out there, I can now add a subscription. And I'll simply paste in the URL for the feed and choose Add. And I now have the New York Times Paper Cuts blog feeds. So instead of going to those individual blog websites, I can now go to google.com slash reader. And of course, log in if you don't need to, but I'm already logged in. And I can see what feeds I've already subscribed to. And you can even categorize these so that it's easier to keep them grouped based on your topics of interest. For instance, I see I have some in sports or some in entertainment. And there's the Paper Cuts blog over at New York Times I just subscribed to. If I click on this, I can start to read the posts and details. And when I'm clicked on a particular blog, in this case Paper Cuts, I can go to my feed, set, feed settings in Google Reader, and I can add this feed to a pre-existing category. These are all my various categories. I think I'll put this one in Education. So I'll simply click on that. And now the Paper Cuts feed is part of my Education category. And you can certainly make different categories and you can even add the same blog to multiple categories. So now it's an easy way to get the latest information from multiple websites without actually having to go to those websites to see if they have something new.